Fireworks, family, and food. That's right. It's the 4th of July, and that means lots of red, white, and barbecue. <laughs> I love that. Here with tips on how to grill the perfect grub for your holiday celebration is celebrity chef Mark Bailey. Welcome hey, to the hey, show. Hey, happy July 4th. It's always oh. good having you here. Yes, and it's burger oh. season oh, at that. It smells so good. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. Grilling? Mm -hmm. Well, before we get to this, okay. I have to ask you, what's the number one mistake people make when hitting the grill? Because, you know, you always hear so many different theories of how to grill. I would say that they don't wait until the grill is fully hot. Mm. So they throw their burgers on before the grill gets fully hot. So how do you, you know? You want to you have a cold burger, keep it in the refrigerator right up until you're ready to throw it on the grill, and a hot grill. That's so don't the... rush the process. Basically, when you turn the grill on, give it enough time to get hot. You know, just, just like throw it on and then yeah. throw it Yeah. Okay. You and gotta the give charcoal. it enough time to get hot. Oh, yeah. Get hot. <laughs> uh, that's, oh, that's hot air. Like a man with a slow hand. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Don't rush the food. You're never right. Exactly. The and the charcoal has to be white if you're. Yes, exactly. Okay. So that it's re that means it's really, really hot. Got now, you know. okay. To get the best flavor, do you recommend charcoal or gas? I like gas only because I think charcoal, once again, the grill is not fully hot all the way around. Okay. So people tend to put the burgers in different places and they don't get the same results mm -hmm. okay. from the heat. So I like gas because it really gets everything. But there's the charcoal flavor. That flavor, How, yes. Can you get that Everybody, same flavor with gas? I've heard like wood chips and different things You can things do can be wood used. chips. You okay. can do wood chips and stuff like that to get the flavor or what have you. But if you really, really crave it, do charcoal. Okay. Do the charcoal. Do the charcoal. It's not the worst. Yeah. It's not the worst. <laughs> all, right. all right. So how do we go about selecting the right type of meat? There's a beef, turkey, lamb, chicken. I mean, you know all what? sorts of options. Get what you like, but I always say don't get it too lean. 18% is probably as much as you want to go okay. as far as lean because if it's too lean, it's going to be dry. Yeah. It's okay. going to be a dry burger. Get a little fat and we know exactly. There's a lot of different things that you have to do with burgers to make sure you keep them juicy. Mm -hmm. That is definitely number one. All, all right, right, so well, how do we keep preparing. it juicy? Yes, let's start preparing. We <laughs> well, have gloves start. here. Well, I got it all decked up for you guys here. Sanitation reasons. We're right. going to be doing <laughs> beef, turkey, and lamb. Okay. And so. you're going to find some things already with the ground meat. I'll explain what that is. And then basically my difference. Is it's all about herbs and how herbs. you season each of them, right, to okay. get the best flavors. So with all of our ground meat here, they've all been pre-seasoned with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. There's ketchup. You'll notice there's ketchup in there. Really? There's an egg. And there's breadcrumbs. Okay. So just a squirt of ketchup and one egg. Yes, and, and, breadcrumbs. and breadcrumbs. And that's throughout. I do that with all my burgers, regardless what type of meat it is. And that's to help it all gel. Exactly. Okay. And okay. the right. And the breadcrumbs is kind of just to help to dry it out a little bit if it's too moist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And then what we have on the sides are all our things that we'll be adding. Oh, so okay. I'll just go over them real quick. Mm -hmm. For the beef, what I like, you know, I like spice. You know, I'm mm -hmm. Korean. Yeah. Yeah. So I throw jalapenos in mine, okay. cilantro, yeah. and an onion soup mix. Ooh, that's okay. what I do in mine. And the turkey. I like to, you, you want to, you know, people always say turkey don't have as much flavor as the mm -hmm. beef and stuff like that. So you really want to add a lot of herbs. Okay. Uh, this is actually an herb turkey burger. Herb turkey. Yes, okay. exactly. So, well, first things first is the um, onions and garlic, which I've pre, um, oh, pre seasoned, uh, pre sauteed in some olive oil. Okay. Then we have parsley, thyme, rosemary, and sage. Okay. So it's all Ooh. of those flavors from the herbs coming together in the turkey burger. Now, that's going to be a killer mix. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's mine, a, right? That's yours. That's your, <laughs> <laughs> you're in the middle. You got that. Okay. And then for lamb, lamb is actually my favorite right now. Okay. Um, what I like to do with lamb is add some cumin. Okay. Onions. Okay. Mint, because that always goes great with lamb, and garlic. And mint. garlic, yes, and, lamb, mint. and uh -huh. lamb. Huh. Yeah. So you notice each of them have their own specific um, herb, yes. mint there. Well, a ray here, and then cilantro with my beef, exactly. Okay. So do we just throw it all in at one time and just yes. start mixing? You throw it all in and right. Okay. See what people like to do is, and I'll start here. You guys can just start. Okay. Yes, what people like to do is they in. throw in one and then they like to knead it a little bit, then throw in right. another, and then knead it a little bit more, and then throw in another. That's so wrong. Oh. You want to throw everything in all at the same time. The problem is you don't want to over knead the meat. Oh. That's enough. Because it's massaging it too. Exactly. Exactly. What if you're does it too do? rough, your burger is tough. Have gentle hands. Treat, treat the meat like a lady. I like that. Rough what? equals tough. I, I feel rough. like this is like a metaphor for exactly. rough. Exactly. Rough caress the meat, Lola. You know. <laughs> exactly. If so we're gonna. If you're too rough, your okay. meat is tough. tough. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I'm gonna show. Exactly. Add that in there. Okay. Caress the meat. Caress the meat. Throw it all okay. in there. Yeah, that's in a, there. That's a really good. Sorry. I got beautiful. a little caught up there. You're good. Okay. Okay. And I'll just show you. You just right. You're not flipping around. You just. You're huh. just going like this a little bit because you really what you <laughs> sound right. effects. Okay, you're so just it. trying to get the, the all the, fl the the seasonings and everything in there. You're really not okay. trying to like break the meat up too much. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, so, so mix it just around. mix around. You can flip it over. Now, and, if you see a oh, part Shannon, that doesn't have any, 
nice thinking. technique. I know how to yeah. caress the meat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys are crazy. <laughs> but no, you really, yeah, Gentle once you squeeze it all in there, trust me, the flavors and everything will get around to all the burgers. It's okay. not like one burger will be like, you know. Right, right. That's what I'm always one. concerned about. Right. But the thing is, you just don't want to break the meat up too much. And since I'm just doing this as a demo, okay. I could just show you what people do wrong sometimes. Sometimes oh, they, they break it up like this and they try to get, you know. Oh. Once you start breaking the meat up like this, mm -hmm. that's when you're looking towards a uh, tough burger. Yeah, okay. Tough burger. You know, you want to fold and, you know, when they say fold things, fold it over more oh, and okay. stuff like that. And then once we start shaping the burger, I heard yes. that you do some type of dimple thing you with it. You put a little it? dimple, exactly. I have no. a demo right there. If you notice, oh, there's a little so just, dim there's a dimple. Yeah, when you so make you it. So you shape it in a, a circle. Donut. You basically make a donut. And then you just put your thumb in it. Is that how and we yeah. do it? As if now, what does that do? Why are we putting a you know dimple what it, in it, it, it? I can't see. What are you doing? We just press our finger yeah. in the center and oh, make okay. that little dimple. Like they, so. Are they getting hmm. that right there? The Why dimple? are we doing oh. the dimple? What does that do? <laughs> when you put the dimple on there and you throw it on the grill, it does two things. It keeps your, mm -hmm. interesting enough, it keeps the burger round, a okay. nice, perfect round. Uh -huh. And it also creates a little pocket where juice fills up. Oh, See, what happens okay. when your burger is grilling, all the juice comes out of the meat pretty much. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we obviously don't want that. Oh, so there's so, the dimple. Exactly. Gotcha. So you create okay, a dimple like it. right here. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. So you create a little dimple like that. So two things Mine's happen. Ready. A little juice forms there and it stays there in the center when the, when the burger is pretty much done. Okay. Um, as well as it keeps it, it gives it a nice round. It keeps it round. Um, another oh. thing people do, just mm -hmm. to piggyback on the right. juice, is they use a spatula. To squeeze down on the burger. That's like the worst thing you could do. While it's on the While grill, it's you on mean. the grill, exactly. Oh, because you're squeezing all the juices you're squeezing out, right? You're squeezing the juices right yeah. out of the burger. And you only want to flip it once. No. Well, you have to check it. How do you know if it's even done? Trust you gotta me. you got to keep Well, that's the thing. Three to, to four minutes on each side. That's it? Three to four After minutes. After your fire's hot. Side. After, yes. And that's one of the, uh, okay. you know, it all, it's all a process. That's pretty good, Lola. <laughs> Look at that turkey burger, right? I'm on my dimple. There we go. Oh, good. They picked the right dimple. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I do have to ask one question sure. about when you talk about where to put the actual hamburger on the grill. Do you uh -huh. put it in the center? I hear people say put it around the edge so you, it's not too hot. Exactly. The, it, what happens is sometimes you throw the burgers in the middle. The It's way too hot, so okay. the outside of the burger quicks a lot faster than the inside. Okay. Yeah. And so if you put it on the outside, when you cover, especially if you want to cover those cover grills, it kind of spreads the heat throughout. And I gotcha. know when you were here last time, we talked about sliders. So we mm -hmm. can make little oh. mini versions of you these. You can certainly, yes, and definitely. Those are, and those are yeah. great for and parties. And those are great for parties mm -hmm. as well, exactly. You feel like you can have more and not be as guilty. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of being guilty, I would like to taste some of yes, our hard work. I have work. a turkey one right here. Okay. And there wait, as wait, well. wait, 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 wait. You uh -oh. taste your lamb burger. Uh, I don't eat no, lamb. No, shit. Eat... <laughs> there's there's two turkeys. Turkey because you turkeys. did such a great okay. job uh, making it. There's enough. There's two turkeys. This is a turkey as well. I'll share. Lola's <laughs> hard work. All right, time, let's exactly. see how it is. How do we do? <laughs> What do you think? And a nice sloppy burger. You Actually, and it's still juicy. I and see what juicy, you're saying. Exactly. It keeps the juice. You have to, yeah. It's all mm. about keeping the juice in the burgers. Really. Okay. Did you think my burger no. wouldn't be juicy? <laughs> Never that. Never, Never that. that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually oh, really good. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. This is going to yeah. be a great 4th of July. Yes, okay, so get out there and start grilling. This is turkey, this is turkey mm -hmm. right and here. And what is yours again? Mm -hmm. This is beef on I'm the gonna side here. I'm going to try your beef okay. burger. Okay, that's the beef. All right. I'll try the turkey. All right. And if you cook this weekend, we want to see all of your pictures, so tweet them to us at Arise TV 360 And thank you so much for these delicious burgers. Burger mm. season, yes. Mm. <laughs>